and the funny part is in the exam hall you are solving those 39 questions which they are not even considering and what about your restless nights your efforts your sacrifices who will answer to them like what a joke ke ye what a joke and it's very difficult to calculate kct rank prediction this year because it's out of 141 marks not with 180 marks but if you got out a way from which you can estimate your rank but it's only a my assumption so hello everyone i am akash a third year computer science student in ms ramaya bangalore so without any delay let's get started so in this method we will convert your 141 marks to 180 marks and from then we can estimate your rank and i will tell you how to convert after some few minutes and after the conversion go to this website known as college dost in this you have to fill your kct marks then also fill your boards physics chemistry and math marks and submit and you have to just give your name and college name your phone number and you will get your estimated rank from the past two years but it's the most accurate rank prediction model from the entire market which i have seen till now so believe me and go and try this website i will give the link in the description and also it will be pinned in the comment section So before knowing how to convert 141 to 180 marks see this graph and this shows the number of students this shows the marks you got this is the graph of marks versus rank in KCET and i want you to understand it as it's very important if you look carefully there's a much larger area in the middle and very less area in both of the ends so it means that there are very few people who scored 290 plus marks and who also scored a very good marks in KCET and here there are very few people who scored very less in boards and very less in kct and the majority of the people lies here in this section who scored an average marks in both kct and board exams so in this section there is a very high competition one for one mark there will be change of four to five ranking but now the question is how to convert it right i also seen many videos on the youtube but at the end i came to my conclusion which is i'm not saying i'm the correct one because nobody can say exactly nobody can predict it so what i have done is we have to add some number to it and then we'll take out of 180 marks so let's start so if you are getting marks less than 30 then you should add 13 to it if you are getting 31 to 40 marks then add 17 41 to 50 then at 20 marks if you are getting 51 to 60 then at 21 61 to 70 at 22 71 to 80 at 23 81 to 90 then at 24 similarly 91 to 100 then at 25 and 101 to 110 at 27 111 to 120 then at 30 marks and 121 to 130 then you have to add 33 From 131 to 140, then you have to add 37. And once you've done this, go to the website that I've said and calculate your rank. And I really felt bad for you guys because how can someone give 39 questions out of syllabus? I can't even imagine what was your situation in the exam hall when you saw those out of syllabus questions. And for those questions, you wasted your time in the exam hall. And for that, you didn't even prepare. And some of you might have lost their confidence after seeing those questions. and some are maybe in the confusion like what the hell is going on and all of these things may have messed up with your head and your paper went bad and this happened with most of you and the funny part is in the exam hall you are solving those 39 questions which they are not even considering like what a joke ke ye what a joke and instead of that you could have solved your own questions which were in the syllabus and you could have saved your time but nobody knew what's right and what's wrong during the exam and what about your restless nights your efforts your sacrifices to get a good rank to get a good college and to build a better future who will answer to them hmm? i'm literally angry man like if you are feeling the same then comment here like like this is very wrong like what they have done like i felt that and i'm not even apologizing if i said something wrong to the key and all because that's correct like what i have said and i mean it so let's back to the topic and if you see carefully in the addition that i have gave there is only a slight difference from the marks 50 to 100 and that's what i said the majority of the people lies here and that's make the largest area of the graph and as i said here competition will be very high for the difference of one marks there will be a difference of four to five ranks like if you get the same marks in everything then they will check your date of birth like if you are older than another person then you will get a good rank then compared to him both marks are same and also remember the addition of the marks that i have said is just a my assumption 
don't take it seriously and if you got some less rank then don't worry like i'm not the one who will decide it so wait for the ke result and see that if it was for 180 marks then i can definitely say what will be your ranking and i have already made a video on it but for 141 marks i agree it's a bit difficult and i'm also preparing to make college preferences what are the types of branches you have to choose what about the ai ml which is booming right now and what to do for that is it true like what they are telling in the media i know what's the reality how ai ml and ai ideas cyber cybersecurity are going on and i will cover them all in the next upcoming videos so stay tuned and you can also watch these videos as your exam is ended right so chill and enjoy do subscribe if you haven't and share with your friends do like if this really helped you and that's it i will see you in the next video bye